Welcome back guys, myself JP. In this video, we are going to see about how to play COT Warzone Mobile on PC by using keyboard and mouse. Come on guys, let's get into this video. Okay guys, First of all, you need this specific application which is named as QT SCR CPY. I provided this link in the description of this video. You can download it directly. It is a GitHub link. You need to click version 2.2 which is the latest release. So click this one, then ask to download the version of the zip file. If you are using 64 bit operating system, click x64. If you are using 32 bit operating system, click x86. So I am using 64 bit. I already downloaded this file and extracted this file to the specific folder. So this is how once you extracted. So now the main part is the key map. So just open the key map and remove the existing one. Now paste the key map. I provided this key map file in the description of this video. You can download it directly. Once you download this key map and pasted this specific file into the key map folder. Remove the existing one and paste my key map file into this folder. That's it guys. Now open qtscrcpy.exe application. Click open, last to run, click run. So this is the interface window. On the right side, you can see config tab. On the left side, you can see what are the devices connected. As for now, I connected my mobile. Also, make sure you need to enable USB debugging on in your mobile to work this. Otherwise, your phone won't be visible. And this is my phone. On the right side, you can make the current settings. I am using the bitrate as a 10 and maximum size as a 1920. Now double click the phone. You can control the phone directly. Now here is the main part. Only you can able to control. You can't able to hear the sound. So now on the same application folder, you can see sndcpy.bat file. Just run the bat file. And then press enter once audio is capture authorized. Just click enter. Now your audio will be playable on PC also. Okay, now open the see what it was on game. You can also resize this specific window for your screen size. So I'm just resizing this. Now here is another main part. So on the right side config window, you need to click refresh script button. Otherwise your C body controls won't be visible. Once you click refresh script button, click apply. So now it has been applied. Okay. Now going back to the gameplay window. Okay guys, the game has been launched. So as for now, when you connected by using USB debugging, uh, some high-end devices can see the high graphics. So otherwise, it will show uh, graphics like uh, like uh, clumsy graphics. But anyhow, you can play this via the PC. Also, once you press the control inside, your mouse will be disabled, just like the common emulator games. Okay guys, now click the play button and we can see my controls working in the game or not. Okay, the game has been started. A proper warm up will be deploying soon. Soldier, mark a drop point for your team. 
So you can press control button and you can play just like a normal other emulator games. Actually, if you have any iron device, you can play with the best graphics. Listen up, soldier. Win here and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done. <laughs> Go back to the front line. You've earned it. Now returning back to the game. Just closing it. You can use the same controls. Right click for aim. Left click for shoot. And shift to sprint. We lost that one, but we'll come back no, stronger sniper. next time. Okay, guys, my mobile phone is a little bit uh, uh, shattering while playing the AVFPS game. Uh, but if you have any IN devices, you can play it very smooth graphics, just like in the mobile phone. So now I'm just closing this application. Okay, guys, that's all for now. As for now, I have very, very low end device. So you can able to see the graphics glitches. 
but still it is playable on PC. If you have any IN devices, it will really work. Signing off, JP, and you can see in my next video. Bye bye, guys. Happy gaming. Thank <music> you.